What's going on guys? Big Jer back again with Warp Academy. And today, I wanna make some melodic dubstep while checking out some of those new features in 1.23 Serum Update. All right, check this out. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. We're gonna be using some of the new features such as Unison Memtrig, Noise Oscillator Direct Out, the Easy Vibrato Setup, and we're gonna be looking at the Distortion Comb Filter. All right, let's get into it. All right, so basically we're gonna be taking a look at two sounds I made. The first is gonna be the epic lead. We're gonna be looking at unison memtrig and easy vibrato setup. We're also gonna be checking out another sound, a bass ending phrase lick I made. And in this patch, we're gonna be talking about the distorted comb filter. I also use unison memtrig and we'll take a look at the noise oscillator direct out. All right, let's get into it. So we're gonna be taking a look at the lead first. So I'll just go ahead and shorten our loop. Okay, just to this one part here. And let's go ahead and take a listen to, we don't even need to hear the end phrase. Let's go ahead and take a listen to what's going on in our lead. So I'm gonna open up the MIDI and you can see that I've drawn in some pitch bends. I wanna tell you right up front that a good lead is actually very simple to make. It's really about how you control your leads that make them stand out and special. So one of the ways is by adding some pitch bends. Okay, and we've done that. So let's go ahead and take a listen to what's going on. You can look at the pitch bend and as well, I'll open up the patch too. I'll try to get everything right on the screen. So there we go. You can see the MIDI and also, you know, the pitch bends that happen. Okay, so let's take a, I'll just actually switch to the other side. That way I could use the loop. Let's take a listen to see what's going on here. So nothing too special, right? But it's cool because it sounds dope. Let's go ahead and dial this guy in. I'll just move that right back to the center. There's actually so little steps that we'll just go ahead and create this together from scratch. So what I'll do is duplicate our track. Okay, I'll just deactivate this one. We'll keep it there for a reference. And then I do have a little bit of processing, so I'll just leave that there and we'll create into the processing chain just so it sounds exactly the same. All right, here's our serum. Let's initialize the preset. Perfect, no big deal. So we're gonna start from here. So I'll go over here and shorten my loop just a little bit more, and then I'll solo this track right here. All right, so let's go ahead and start designing this. And I always do recommend designing to some MIDI. So first thing we're gonna do is put on some unisons. So I'm gonna give this guy seven unisons and adjust my detune. Awesome, sounding really good. So let's talk about our first new feature. We're gonna take advantage of unison memtrig. Notice that when I move this random knob, you see a yellow box. Inside the yellow box, you'll see a yellow line. That's where your phase is going to start. And we could adjust that for different sounds. But what if you wanted the unison to trigger at the same relative phase on each note without making that absurd laser zap sound, ultimately making your patch sound more like a sample and less like a synthesized patch? That's exactly what Unison Memtrig does. Let me show you what I mean. As I turn it up, you have to have both phase and random up and you'll notice it turns into Memtrig. And now we'll get the same exact trigger every time. Every time I hit it, it sounds the exact same. And that's what I wanted out of this because I wanted a consistent lead. I'm actually gonna pop on a second oscillator. I'm gonna go up one octave and I'm gonna do the same exact thing and give myself another seven voices here and set up my deep tune. Let's make a few quick adjustments before we jump onto our next new feature. So I'll go ahead and engage the sub and we don't wanna go direct out because we're gonna use it as a third oscillator. So I'm gonna add another saw wave and we will see how this sounds. A 
Love it. Down an octave just fattens it up a little bit. And give ourselves a little bit of a portamento in case we decide we want to do an overlapping note bend in addition to our drawing in the bends. This is where the bends get really cool because you get a couple different ones. Okay, and then I'm going to go over to my effects and I'm simply going to load up an effects chain and we're going to load up our epic lead just to save some time. So now we've got almost the whole lead. We just need to set up our vibrato. So let's take a listen to what it sounds like before the vibrato. Awesome, we're just about there. Let's set up that vibrato. And the next new feature I'd like to talk about is the easy vibrato setup. This is actually super easy to do. I'm gonna head over to the matrix. Under the output section here, there's a little drop down arrow. And here it is right here, create vibrato. Okay, we're gonna hit go. And it's going to use LFO1. It's gonna pre-map it to the master tune. And it's going to set it to auxiliary source the mod wheel. And we could choose to use that. So let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like real quick. And we're not hearing it because the mod wheel's down, so I'll turn it up. All right, it sounds a lot like a dying animal right now. So let's turn it off BPM and let's get it to wiggle right. I'll go ahead and turn up the mod wheel and you'll hear it come in. So we could do little throws like this. Awesome. And if you don't use your mod wheel and you don't want to, you'd rather just use a macro and automate that, we could do that as well. So let's go into here and I'll just change the auxiliary source from mod wheel to macro one. And then we'll just go ahead and automate that as usual. You could see though in the first clip that here I did automate the modulation wheel. Okay, on this clip, we'll do the same thing, but we'll do it on the macro. So the way we set that up, remember guys, is we open this up, we hit configure, and then label this vibrato. And now it's there for us. So now we can go ahead and automate it the way we want. I always like to automate in pen mode. Let's go ahead and show automation in new lane. And let's draw in some vibratos. Awesome, and it's just that easy to set up a vibrato now. Try some of those features out for yourself and make your own lead just as dope. Let's check out this little bass lick I made here, because this is what we're getting into next. All right, let's get into this guy. But before we get into that, I wanna let you guys know that this video is just a taste of what I cover in my full Serum Jumpstart Masterclass back at Warp Academy. If you're ready to get serious about sound design and learn how to confidently make any sound you hear in your head, then this is the course that'll help you do that. You'll learn everything you need to know about making professional quality sounds and becoming a legit power user with Serum. I know it could be frustrating and slow learning a new synth, especially one as complex as this. That's why we used a special technique in this course to help you learn faster and remember more. In less than 30 days, you can master this amazing and powerful synth. Come check out the course and see for yourself. There's a link below the video. So again, this is the sound that we're gonna be making right here and the patch is opened up. And I'll solo it real quick. So we're having some fun here with the distorted comb filter. And we're using the distorted comb filter two because it's a more aggressive version. There is two, distorted comb filter one, distorted comb filter two, both in low pass and band pass modes. We're using distorted comb filter two in low pass mode. And these are gonna function a lot like the scream filters we talked about in the last video. They're gonna have a bit of a different sound though. This has more of a distorted squareify sound. Much like the scream filter, the frequency knob here will alter the perceived pitch of this filter. So what I did was make a stepper out of LFO3 and apply it to the filter knob. And this gave me the different notes you're hearing as we move through a single MIDI note. Let's listen to that again. 
All right, I'm not going to be recreating this whole patch like I did the last one, but I do want to call your attention to a few more things. We will be including this patch in the download, so you can go ahead and explore it at your leisure. But the next thing I want to call your attention to is that I did use Unison Memtrig in this. And you might be looking at that HPulse wavetable, wondering where you're going to get that. And that's a custom wavetable that I made, especially for this sound, so I'll be including that as well. And right next to that, Noise Direct Out. Let's take a listen to what this sounds like real fast, as I have applied a few modulators to this. One to the level, and one to the pan. Finally, on the effects page, I polished the sound with some effects, and I would encourage you guys to dig through that when you get the downloads. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that and found it educational. Please, swing over to the Warp Academy site, where you can get more info on Serum Jumpstart. All right, see ya.